guys, it's coffee time. It's tea. It's actually tea. I lied to you like right from the get go. I'm so sorry. Ah, hello. I am feeling much better today. I still sound a little snotty, but my coughs have been that sort of cough that makes people wince, which is good because that means it's going from up here into here and then I'll start like coughing some stuff out and being that gross friend instead of the snotty gross friend. And then I'll be the snotty gross friend again for like, you know, a day and then it'll be gone. Feeling pretty good about it. I spent most of the day on the couch sleeping. I have HGTV on so every time I wake up it's just the same show because they like to marathon the exact same shows over and over and over again. So I would put HGTV on and it was either Property Brothers or House Hunters, um, House Hunters Reno Renovation, I think, is the new House Hunters that's out. I was like, uh, you cashing in on that, we gotta fix this house thing. Anyway, it was either one of those shows the whole time. Except, oh, I finally got to watch the first episode of Ellen's Furniture Design Challenge. Design Challenge? That show's pretty cool. The first episode does not have Ellen in it at all. And I was like... Aw, man, that first guy who got eliminated. Oh, sorry, spoilers. First person who got eliminated. <laughs> totally, uh, yeah, never got to meet Ellen. I was like, that's so sad. So sad. He came all the way there to do Ellen's design challenge and didn't get to meet Ellen. So I'm hoping in the preview for the second episode she shows up and everybody's like, oh my god, it's Ellen. So, but it's pretty cool because it's not like, it's not like they just bring in like, yahoos and say here try to make furniture it's like people who are pretty accomplished furniture designers already so it's actually super interesting to watch because they really know what they're doing and they all i thought everybody made really cool stuff but because the panel of judges right because all of them are involved in the furniture world like there would be something that i thought looked so cool and they'd be like what is this? <laughs> like, this is totally out of proportion. This is more of a sculpture than an actual piece of furniture. Like, so many things. They would nitpick so bad. And I was like, what? It looks so cool. I don't understand. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Just pitching that. There's only been one episode so far. But anyway, point being, I, like, laid on the couch and fell asleep for hours. I fell asleep at, like, like right after my stream, because I did Saturday morning Duker today, I uh, fell asleep at like 2 and woke up and it was dark. And I was like, well, I guess I, I mean, I got my sleeps in for sure. I told everybody that I was going to spend a day, the rest of my day just relaxing. And that's what I did. I fell asleep until it was dark. So like 6 o'clock, I woke up, I uh, came in here and turned on a stream with Super Daniel and Oriozima and Jeremy Chinshu, like all of them are just in a Skype call, like doodling together. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. So I've had that on for hours and just been like scrolling through Tumblr and stuff. It's been nice. It's been a nice relaxing time. So I got yelled at so much for not resting and I didn't have anything that I really had to do today. So I figured, you know, since I'm feeling better and I don't have much to do, I should just like try to kick it in the butt. Try to kick it in the butt for reals. So it's all coming together. I'm gonna feel so much better come Monday. Fingers crossed. I sound better, right? Don't I sound better? I feel like I sound better. I feel like I sound less like somebody who smokes their whole life, you know? Anyway, enough about that. Not that I have really much anything else to even talk about, but you know, enough about that. My nose does itch really bad though. I think because it's like dried up. <laughs> Is that gross? I think because it's like dried up now. So it's kind of just not sure what to do with itself. You know. Oh. But because I slept so much now, I don't know when I'm gonna wanna fall asleep again. I feel like it's gonna be up to me to make myself lay down at a certain point and just kind of try to fall asleep, which I'm not great at. I mean, here's the thing. Normally I can nap, but that's because I get sleepy, right? 
if I try to go to bed and I'm not super sleepy, it's not always... It's not always very successful. I've kind of turned into that person where when I need to fall asleep and I'm not really sleepy, if I turn on the TV, that kind of helps. And that's weird because I was never... I know a lot of kids are that way. Like, younger kids a lot of times will will want, like, something, like, noise in the background, right? Um, and I was never that kid at all because I lived in the middle of nowhere. We lived, like, on a farm in the middle of the woods, right? So... For me, it was always silence. Like, I always slept in complete silence. And now as an adult, I don't know if it's because I got used to, like, hearing stuff going on outside. Like, the first place that I lived in in L.A., I would hear sirens and cars and laughing and all sorts of stuff. And I feel like I've gotten really used to just having noise. So, like, when Sam isn't here yelling at his computer or just, like, something isn't happening... It, it's like kind of weird for me and that makes me kind of sad that's like one of those very tangible pieces of evidence that I've been here for a really long time you know that like I've left Oregon behind that was like that was one of the cool things about playing Life is Strange because there's so many people who are playing that game and are like what is this hipster piece of trash and that makes me kind of sad because I'm like but this is like so Oregon. <laughs> like that is so, those are my people. Like the people who are in this game are so my people. And it just makes me laugh. I'm like, oh, Oregon, oh. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in that zone where I really wanna clean because when I'm sick, I let everything go, right? I like, I like still try to do a bunch of stuff because I feel like I have obligations and I stress out about those obligations. But when it comes to like my my lifestyle choices, I let everything slip. So like didn't take a shower for a few days. Full disclosure. Didn't take a shower for a few days. Took a shower this morning and I feel great. Um, have not done dishes at all since Sam left. Uh, haven't done any laundry. Like stuff is everywhere. And so today, because I had a bit more energy, I was like, oh my god, I want to clean so bad. Like, the house, I need to clean. Because when you feel gross, your environment can make that way worse, in my mind, you know? Like, showering felt so amazing, not only because I really needed a shower, but also because, like, not showering was making me feel even worse than I already felt. So showering was one of those things that was like, oh, at least like my body's clean, right? Like, like it, it feels like that's on, on the path to feeling better. And another thing on the path to feeling better is like, I need to clean out the fridge. I need to do all the dishes. I need to vacuum. Like I need to put clothes away, like all of these things. So I just made myself not do anything today. And I feel like tomorrow... I'm not going to the Super Bowl party. I was invited to a Super Bowl party and I was like, I'm not gonna go because I'm still, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna push it. You know, I don't wanna be one of those people that like relapses and then I'm like, what went wrong? And everybody's like, I don't know, maybe because you were streaming for hours and you went to a party and you like did all this, you know. So I'm feeling like tomorrow I should just stay home still but, you know, leisurely clean up the house. And that way, that'll be like that next, that'll be that next step toward having a, a clean, healthy environment, not only like up here, but also like body-wise. So yeah, anyway, that's what's going on with me. Wow, <laughs> so exciting, whoa, ding. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have had a fantastic Saturday. I didn't do much except sleep. But I was able to rant for a while about about my life. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you didn't, maybe it'll be a different story tomorrow. Maybe something will happen. Maybe I'll see aliens. Who knows? Really, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. All right, I'm going to go. You guys are great. I hope you had a great day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.